Hey guys, this is Chris, and welcome to the Ghost Purist Pakistani Embassy Challenge. And this actually is not a challenge that I created. This came from uh, Rodney Bridges, who is a one of my YouTube subscribers, and he actually was inspired by the the challenges that I created and kind of the Ghost Purist style gameplay that I did and wanted to kind of change up what he did. He was more, I think, uh, more of an assault player, and he really started enjoying the the way that um, I had played, and it was really interesting the way he started playing, especially with these embassies, because I know a lot of the stuff that I did, I had done with Grim Missions and, and Coben and Briggs and all that, but hadn't with, with the embassies, and I really love this challenge. So... Uh, really looking forward to, to you guys seeing this. We'll go ahead and go under the settings, video and UI. Interaction markers are off. The scoring feedback is on. The auto hide HUD is on. And of course, as always, the radar is off. Uh, one thing I always like about that, with the radar being off, especially in an embassy, that is really cool. Uh, of course, we're going to use a no stealth suit. We're not going to have any gadgets of any kind. Uh, the op suit, we're going to have the raven suit again with no stealth bars, which is great. Uh, of course, we don't need our goggles. And then the weapons don't matter since we don't use them. What I'm starting to do is equip the stun gun. That way you can see I don't have any kind of noisemakers or anything like that. Another restriction is you can't use your whistle as well. So what you do in the embassy level is make sure it's on perfectionist as well as make sure the starting wave is set to six because this is the the sixth wave um, in embassy and it has 20 enemies and you can have anywhere from one to four dogs on it on this wave. Um, this one that this challenge that I'm I have here uh, recorded I actually had two dogs and I believe Rodney had one dog on the one he did and I'll provide a link to his challenge his the original challenge that he created below uh, and a link to his channel but one of the things I really there are quite a few things I liked about this challenge so much and I guess playing all the other levels um, even though they have uh, sometimes unpredictable patterns and all that, really embassies are so much different than anything else. And I think that they can be, the Charlie missions can be passed off as uh, action missions and all that, but when you play them uh, as stealth purist missions, it, it can get crazy. And that's kind of what he did was made this a ghost purist mission to where you don't use any distractions, you don't use your whistle, you don't use noisemakers, and you actually have to hand KO everybody. Uh, you cannot even do a KO from above or anything like that. You can't um, pull people from railings or anything like that. You actually have to drop down and choke them out. And... <laughs> What was interesting was another restriction that he did, which I thought was really, sure, it's frustrating, but you know with me and hard challenges, I thought was a, a very nice touch what he did, was you couldn't KO from behind cover. Because as you know, if you're, uh, you do an abduction from behind cover, it makes it quite easy. It puts them behind cover, you're hidden, but no, you have to drop down, uh, or let's say if a guy is in a hallway or whatever that is, you have to go to them, be in plain sight, and and uh, sit there and do the choking move. And you never know which choking move you have. And so, yeah, you may have the, the little neck, neck bump, or you may have that one that takes four or five seconds. So, yeah, it, it can get pretty tense. So even the dog, like the dog right there, I was standing in that room so that he would catch my, my scent kind of away from the other guards. 
And so just different techniques and all that was very interesting uh, to do. And with his challenge, I think he was just trying to emphasize uh, using railings and ledges and different things like that, working on your line of sight and not depend not depend on knocking out from behind cover or using a bunch of gadgets or anything like that. And I really, really like this challenge because of that. And uh, again, what I like too is the fact there's no radar. And on all the other missions, really don't ever have a problem, even with mission six i know mission six was pretty hard to do without a radar for a lot of people but when you talk about an embassy when you're doing an embassy with a lot of waves or a lot of enemies it can get extremely tricky when you don't have a radar because you're you're going completely off of what you can hear and that can be very hard to do and so I, I really do give them major props for not having the radar on here, as well as that really ramps up the tension when you, do, when you don't mark the guards either on an embassy level. So I just thought this was a, a really well done and a well thought out challenge. It's very interesting to do. The one thing that I I did have some trouble with is because we could not make any distractions at all, including, you know, you couldn't use the whistle, is for them to not see you, but you couldn't, they would be around, like, let's say, outside. And what, what these guys in the embassy tend to do is they would stick with each other they would stick in groups of at least two and a lot of times they would stick in groups of three or maybe even four but especially when you get down to the last i think five or so it was really hard to break them apart and so i found that there was a lot of waiting involved um, so that was really the only thing that I wasn't quite sure how to get past since a lot of times they were back to back and they watched out for each other a lot. But other than that, I, I thought it was great. And and Rodney, I, I thought you did a great job on the creation of, of this challenge. Let me look through here and see if there's other things I know the the bonus challenge for this is to follow a guard for at least 40 seconds and you'll see this after I'm done with this main challenge I wanted to do it on this run however the last guard it came back into me and it stayed in the room and there was really no way I could follow it anywhere and so what I did was I kind of created another video and appended it onto this video for the bonus objective so here we go we got two more hostiles and I think I probably waited a good 10 minutes for them to split up because, again, no distractions. Couldn't do any distractions, and finally they decided to split up. And this guy just would not leave. He, he wanted to sit there forever, so I thought I'm just going to go ahead and take him out. And looks like I got 4,650 points for my score 20 enemies and then here's the bonus objective where you just kind of follow a guard 
what's interesting about these guards, and I, I guess I really haven't noticed um, them on any other level as much as at least Embassy, these guys are so unpredictable and they will turn on a dime. And so it was a really good bonus objective to put in here. You never know if they're going to completely do a 180 or turn to the right or turn to the left or whatever it is. So it's like you constantly have to make sure you have a good hiding place. So there you go. Um, Rodney, I'm, I'm really glad that you came up with this challenge. I think you did an excellent job. And hope hope you guys liked it. Uh, please let me know what you thought. To check out Rodney's channel, type in SC Assault Ninja in YouTube, and that will bring his channel up. He's got uh, challenges on several embassies and several other neat videos, so go ahead and check him out. To check out my channel at any time, type in Chris Maker Splinter Cell, and I've actually added a new section called Discussion and Events. There is a uh, interview that uh, SE Ghost Ninja uh, he's got a new channel called Renaissance he had an interview with me uh, on Skype and so that's I have a link to that as well as there's some other videos and then of course my other uh, I've got my playlist for challenges the campaign world records and uh, solo and co-op runs for uh, blacklist and uh, conviction as well Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.